Ronnie goes for the toss, who likes to call out. Tails. And it's tails, Ronnie. Ronnie should break. Ronnie O'Sullivan walking out to a packed house. Absolutely second nature for him. Tell you what, though. First frame. Of course he's favourite tonight. Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. This is by no means a foregone conclusion. Although it's been under the radar somewhat, Stephen Hendry, Graham Dodd has actually had a really good season in terms of accumulating ranking points, and he pushed Judd Trump very hard in the semi-finals of the German Masters only last Saturday. Yeah, it's just strange. Enigma, really, Graham Dock, because he seems to disappear for months, even a year, and then all of a sudden he hits a, a vein of form like this season, and he starts getting to the business end of all the tournaments. So, as you said, he's got a, he's got a good chance tonight if he keeps that form up. As I said, if Leon Wimbo would have held himself together in that deciding frame. He had beat Ronnie last night. But what also happens so often is when the better the opponent plays, it seems to make Ronnie play even better. It's a repeat this of the 2004 World Championship final. Now, on paper, O'Sullivan won that one very comfortably indeed, 18-8. But, you know, Dot won the first five frames. If he does that tonight, Ronnie's on the way home. I think Graham Dot's a better player now than, than even when he won the World Championship. He plays a more aggressive... Brand of snooker. He won that world championship. Well, he didn't have a century break in the final, did he? He's a much more aggressive player now than he was then. I've seen a few breaks, break offs in this tournament where the black's been tied up. It's completely in the open at the moment. Excellent long pot played with a load of left hand side, check side to avoid the cue ball colliding with a, the bunch of reds. My well, yellow to this right corner would be a, an aggressive shot. He's eyeing it up. Easy just to tuck up behind the yellow. The snooker would be awkward because there's loose reds all around the, the pack, so. Playing an aggressive shot. Three. When he stayed down there, it would have suggested it was perhaps borderline going in, but it went in right into the heart. What a competitor. So determined and feisty. Four. 
for me, the best tournament that Graham Dot ever played wasn't when he won the World Championship. It was a year later. He won the 2007 China Open. Playing beautiful snooker. And in that, in the semi-finals, he overcame O'Sullivan, 6-2. 11. If he's going to win tonight, this is where he's really going to have to go to work. Make the most of these opportunities. Score heavily. Nineteen. Twenty. One of the recollection of history between these two in that 2006 World Championship at the Crucible in the semi-finals. Dodd unbelievably beat O'Sullivan 17-11. The unbelievable part was he won all eight frames in the third session. Completed a session whitewash. Twenty-eighth. That was the famous match, of course, where when it was completed, O'Sullivan gave his cue to a member of the audience. So Graham hasn't made the most this opportunity, so good safety shot required. Try and get somewhere behind green and brown. Brain dot, 35. The linchpin of the dot game plan is not to make life easy. Make O'Sullivan work for everything. Foul and a miss. <coughs> Graham dot seven. That was out of kilter.
Bueno. Nice angle in the black. You can play a little cannon into the main bunch here. Well, that's okay. this red and you can see there's another red in the middle of the five and two reds that look pretty close to being a plant as well to the left corner so it would be disappointed to not win the frame this visit oh dear you could hear the gasp when he hit it He's known on the circuit as Wee Dotty, and being Wee there didn't help. <clears throat> 50 points ahead, a very useful lead, one has to say. But the balls are nicely placed. If O'Sullivan gets a chance, that 50 points could very rapidly be eroded, erased. Not the sweetest hit that, short of the ball climb.
subdued start from Ronnie O'Sullivan so far. It's not really hit many quality shots yet. Another safety hit a little bit too thin in and out of bulk. It's left a pot to the right corner. It's not even had a pot to go at yet, Ronnie O'Sullivan. in the left corner and screw the cue ball back to safety and be on the brown should he get the pot. No, he's in fact he's just stunned the cue ball. Which I'm a little bit surprised at. It's a small sample average shot time for F. Sullivan. 29 <laughs> seconds. That will definitely reduce as the match progresses. was a complete and utter misjudgment and even then he's been lucky to knock the black safe One. If the black was on its spot here, it would be so Seven. much easier to develop those two clusters of reds close to the top cushion. Eighth. Fourteen. Fifteen. Three reds that are behind the black spot. The loose one will go to the right corner pocket. They've been looking for an angle here. Twenty-one. I would suggest on the pink, the blue to possibly move something. Play a little cannon on the two reds that are on their own and still be on the one to the right corner. Beautiful. It's a little dab of right hand side when the cue ball hits the cushion, just nudges the red out. 28. More than agreeable start for Tom Ford 29. on the other table. With a break of 69, he's taken a 1-0 lead over Gary Wilson. shot in this frame if he's looking at taking this red on you can see it clearly goes but he won't be able to avoid the cannon on the two reds Very fine. lovely pop Sullivan does 
He comes to the table, but doesn't look like a great chance to win the frame in one visit. But somehow he manages 22. to negotiate it into being so. Just an absolute genius at moving that cue ball around, developing reds into potable positions. This, you would think, is the big shot. The last red is pretty easy near that far left corner. Well, not for the first time in this tournament. We see balls that I thought were going to go in and don't. Hit that pretty well. Neil Robertson had a red to middle this afternoon. Myself and Neil Folds were convinced it was going to fall in, and it didn't. cloth and the table is now four days old so a few matches played in it lots of frames so maybe at the beginning of the week that might have still gone in Looks like he's going around the table. So if he just drops a brown in to leave a longer distance red, he's got to be careful not to snooker himself with a brown when it's respotted. Going around the table, he's got to negotiate the middle pockets, the pink. Well, I didn't think that corner pocket was going to cause any problems. Only solving four. Last couple of minutes, Stephen, rapidly fluctuating fortunes. It's a little bit unlucky, Graham, you have to say, to put that second last red and not land straighter on the brown. Well held, uh, Sullivan just taking a peek at the scoreboard. Four. Arrives on the colours, five in front, so doesn't need that awkward black. Six. Now for the first three quarters of this no. frame's duration, Rana Sullivan wasn't really a part of it. He's going to take it. 13. And I think, in many respects, winning a frame like this will do him more good than making a century. 18. <laughs> Fighting effort. 24. And the first second. Could have gone either way, but the in-off scuppered Graham Dodd. Ronnie O'Sullivan draws first blood. This evening, he was up in the Q zone and he potted his first ball. Congratulations, Tom. Well done. Contrary to popular belief, playing snooker is not the sign of a misspent youth. Stephen Hendry's here to tell you that.